Hello, Alan Gilbert again with Autodesk. This is number 11 in the final video in the series of AutoCAD Civil 3D Tips and Tricks, which was presented at the Fall Florida Users Conference this year. And the tip is the Civil Engineering Data Translator. So if we have Bentley GeoPack or Bentley En-ROADS surface or geometry files and in the binary formats, and we need to move those into Civil 3D or go from Civil 3D into these formats and land XML is not an option. In other words, I either don't have access to the author and their software, Bentley software, or I don't have the Bentley software myself. So what can I do about it? So let's move on to the video. So in this video we're going to discuss a situation where you have Bentley binary files from GeoPack or En-ROADS, surface or geometric files, and you don't have the ability to either export to Land XML yourself or ask the author of the, the uh, data to export to Land XML to transfer it. So we have a new cloud service. This has been around a couple versions now. This is in 2016 at least. It's delivered in Productivity Pack 1. So you can, after you load the pack, you can see we've got import export GeoPack, which is GPK and TN, and same thing En-ROADS. We can import export DTM surface file or AOG alignment file. So let's take the situation where we have a DTM and a AOG from En-ROADS project. Again, we have no way to export Land XML. We don't have En-ROADS our machine, nor can we get in, in touch with the author. So we double click and we select, let's, we can do the DTM first, for example. It asks for the units, just hit I. So what do I want to bring? I'll just bring the triangles. And notice it's transferring up to the cloud. It didn't ask me for a login, but it, it, it did uh, when I first started this. Uh, so you do have to have a login to our website. It's just a standard single sign-in for all things Autodesk. Now I can uh, run the ALG file, which is the geometric file if you're not familiar with En-ROADS. DTM is the surface. International transfers to the cloud. So while this is working, if I want to see an update, I can double click on this job monitor. So it kind of shows us what's going on. And you can see where I uploaded this before, uh, this two completes. And so that's what it looks like. It'll say in progress uh, until it's done. Now last time, you can see it took about two and a half minutes, almost three minutes uh, for these to be ready. And what happens is it says complete and then under results, it'll be a download button. As soon as you click that on both of those, it'll say re-download, and then you have a folder, which you can basically go right to uh, where that data is located. So I'm going to close the job monitor, and let's just do that, keep that folder open. So let's open the alignment data. So it created a Civil 3D DWG, named the same as the ALG or the geometrics, and this should all be Civil 3D alignments and profiles. Let's go to Prospector here. If I click on an alignment, you can see that the toolbar works just as it should. And the alignment name is On-Site Detour North. This is pushed up here because of the resolution. And if I look through my alignments, I have profiles for all of these. And this is basically a new culvert. These are bypass alignments, and this is the stream center line. Here's my main center line going down this uh, particular state route. So all this data came in very nice. If I go and select the alignment, just uh, as I would with a normal Civil 3D alignment, I could go and look at the alignment in grid view. You can see I have line, lines, and curves, just as you would expect. So no land XML here, just taking the AOG directly. So at this point, if I was working on a project, I could data shortcut this or save it into Vault, whatever I'm using. And let's take a look at the surface. Let me just go over to the folder here with that DWG. It saves it in its own so it'll be split out so I could data shortcut these separately. So now if I look at surfaces I can go to surface properties look at the statistics okay so this actually is referencing Atlantic XML so that's kinda of what it does in the background and this is a 3D of course by move this around and look at this roadway in 3D 
go back to top and if I wanted to take a look and start evaluating this even before I reference in my data I could create a quick quick profile there we go move this around to see what uh, maybe what's going on around the stream move this down here Get that through the stream but now it's just a normal civil 3d object whether a surface or alignment data